Hello Casa fans from all over the world. Today we'll be unboxing, well it's not quite a real unboxing, but let's see what we have here. We have the F91W. Okay, now this watch was bought from secondhand market, therefore I raised some questions about it. We see that the package is similar to the one that we previously had for the F105, but yeah, I bought it from a stranger so everybody could say hey this is with its original package and it was barely worn like one or two times but I raised the question of this being an original Casio and I have got a surprise when I have compared it with my previous Casio that I owned. Let's unbox and see what this box contains. Normal boxing. We have the warranty, the user guide, and we have the watch. And also, uh, we have this um, label that is pointing out that this was bought from the same retailer as I bought my watch. See? Same type of labels. Exactly. Even the printer would print with errors. What I have is the F91W1YAYEG. And what I have bought from secondhand market is 1YER. Let's see the differences between these two watches. This is my watch and this is the new watch. In terms of bracelets, I see no difference. In terms of displays, I see no differences in terms of appearance no differences the only difference that i see is that my watch has this small u and this one does not have so i'm not sure if you remember but uh, i've seen some um, fake versus real f91s and uh, the reviewer was saying that if the U is missing or not missing, if the U is printed in a low quality, so like a larger U, that watch would have been a fake. This is mine, it has the U and this one, it's a new watch, it's newer. I assume that this is newer, it does not have the U. I've seen other YouTube reviews in which they have presented the F91 without the U. Therefore, we could conclude that between generations of the F91s we might see differences. I have also seen on the internet that some watches, I guess, older than this one. It's written here under resist Japan and U. Then they have removed the Japan, they have left only U and now they have removed the U entirely. On the F105, we still have the U. The brightness, it might be that this line from the newer model, or as I assume that newer model, uh, these um, two lines are less thinner. Sorry, this is thinner and this, this is thicker. If we reverse the watch, we see that the bracelets are having different codes as I see 283, 283 and this is 162 and this is 192. I would say that the 16 is the 2016 year of manufacturing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just an assumption. This one has N19, 2019, and the two would be, let's say, maybe a different meaning, I do not know what, it could be the month, like we have on tires, but if we switch to the other one, yes, it's the same, sorry, here is 2015, not 16, but it's the same code, like on the small strap and also on the longer strap. Here we have a different code, it's from 2019, 
the strap and if I take down my F105 and we see the N19 one this is N192 so the one or two might be the number of the die in which the bracelet was produced or could be the month or could be the week or could be month of the year or week of the year or whatever but I am assuming that N615 in this case and 19 in this case and N19 in the other case would be the producing year this is older this is newer I am positive that this is the way in regards differences I see no difference for colors i see no difference for straps as you have seen yeah let's see the engraving of the casio logo mine which is older looks like more poorly engraved this one which is the newer without you i see it like better engraving all right guys this this video will be a little strange we will not follow the same strategy or the same template as we were used before but yes, we have three watches with the same bracelets. Let's say somehow identified the meaning of some numbers from the bracelet to the top number could be, let's say the part number for this bracelet. It's 283, 283, and this one should be again 283. We could presume that this is the part number. The next would be the year of production and at the end could be the die or the month or the week and then PUR I would assume that stands from the uh, material of of this uh, bracelet yeah let's see here is written also China and here is written also China so again the older one has less quality a poor quality we have the third bracelet look at it so basically it's a fake bracelet the color it's black we cannot judge by the color the buckle retainer is for sure different it's more square and this is more rounded the clasp it has the casio logo but the pin from the clasp is poorly produced and also the end of the bracelet is very poorly let's switch on the other side and yes we have the 283 we have the 283 so it stands for the same part number but we do not have the other codes so this is just dk i would assume that is where it was produced but the part number is 283 so it's made for casio but just a lower quality we still have the casio maybe they have the license but to produce on lower quality we see that this claps is very very poorly produced it's the same design it's missing the china let's long press this button this pusher it's written casio Let's long press this pusher. Again, it's written Casio. And let's long press this pusher. Again, it's written Casio. The light. Okay, the light. Let me switch off this light. The light. What is wrong with this light? Let me see this one. This is more greenish. And this is more whitish. I will definitely have to check it under complete darkness definitely have to check it the older one is greenish and the new one is whiter now this is a huge difference now, this is a huge difference taking a look on the photos from complete darkness we definitely see that on the green color it's very vague but on the white color it is so strong that through the red writings so these two arrows and the vr from water resistance they are lighten up so we see this reddish color on the display and also we see the light coming out through the sides of the display 
we also see this dot in the middle of the display now that i do not know what it is but i guess this is because of the strong light i don't know what to say i do not know what to conclude everything points out that this is original but this poor quality because of the light because of the strong light i have never seen on other casio even the illuminator does not have it the f105 does not have the light coming through the edges of the display i definitely do not know what to say about this definitely do not know what to say all right guys leave your thoughts in the comment section below and yes i'm very curious to find out if it is a fake or not there are a lot of details that points out as not being fake but the light is definitely something that raises a big big question the back it's i see no differences the quality of the engravement is the same the module number is the same we have the Casio logo, the F91W, the same, stainless steel, the same, the DH, the made in China, the water resistant, all is there, the screws, the screws, yeah, they all look the same, it's very, very odd. Okay, do I want to open this watch to see if there are differences in between the models? I'm sorry, I have to do it. Okay, if you guys spot some something that is wrongly here, let me know in the comments. Let's open the older one. Oh my god. There are the same they are the same yes it's the same even the the ceiling rubber it's the same i will not take the foil from the top of the battery let's see the back case the back of the back case k 22 k and this is a 44 k i don't know I definitely do not know but the shape is the same this is this was worn more than mine because it's more dirty let's close them and then make the conclusion good to conclude I have seen a couple of differences let's note them down one newer model older model assumption based on the strap newer model has thinner lines the blue lines are thinner secondly the u is missing thirdly we see on the straps the production year assumption again this is older this is newer on the quality of the casio logo engravement we see the differences newer one is more qualitative opening the watch and back case they are the same the only differences that i've seen that on the newer model i've seen on the threads some um, remaining from the resin from the case and in this one you can still tight 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 but it will keep on rotating some there's something like poorer quality in the material of the case and this is what happened to the f105 less quality in the material of the case and for sure let's not forget about the light the back light the new one has white light the old one has green light thank you for your attention have a nice day